Do D2 subs hit harder than D4? Do D1 subs hit harder than D2? Let me understand something, let you understand something about voice coil wiring. A subwoofer has two coils. Two positive negative leads. Two windings around the former. D2, D1, and D4 only means the resistance in the wire. 4 ohm, 2 ohm, 1 ohm. And what they're rated at. Okay. If you got an amplifier that does 500 watts at 4 ohm, 750 at 2 ohm, and 1,000 at 1 ohm, let me ask you this question here. What woofer would be the loudest? If you use D4 and you wire it down, you put the positive to the positive and negative to the negative. Let me show you that because some don't understand. So this is a D4 sub. Let's look at it like this. Let's look at it like this. Okay. Come on up out of there. Don't give yourself a hard time. Now, negative to negative, positive to positive on a D4 sub gives me a D2 load, a 2 ohm load. A 2 ohm load going to amplifier that's rated 400, 500 at 4 ohms, 750 at 2 ohm, and 1,000 at 1 ohm. If I take two D4 sub, or one D4 sub, and take all the positive and negatives and put them together, I now have a two ohm load. I'm going to get 750 watts. I'm going to get 750 watts in a perfect world going from the amplifier to the sub. So if I had a D, if I say this was a D2 sub, and I wired it up to a four ohm load, I would take a negative and a positive and put them together. Then I would take this negative and positive and send to the amp. If this was a dual D2 sub, dual 2 ohm sub, I would be wired up the forms. If my amplifier does four, 500 watts at four ohms, I'm only going to see 500 watts from the amplifier. So then you would say, well, then the D4 sub hit harder than the D2 sub. No. What you're thinking is hitting harder is that, that the subwoofer is getting more power from the amplifier. D2, D1, D2, D4 subs do not hit harder than any other. All it is used for is wiring to present to present a ohm load to the amplifier. Based on that ohm load, you're going to get a certain amount of power. If your subwoofer puts out its power with foams, then you probably need to get D2 subs. Because two D2 snow, yeah, no, D, D4 subs. Well, why? Because you can wire both of them up to six, you can wire them both in series, positive or negative, on a D4 sub, we'll take it to eight ohms. You get two eight ohm subs and wire them parallel to all the positive, all the negatives together, you're back at a foam load. If your amp if your amp makes its power its max power at four ohms, that's where you want to be. Let's say you got your amp makes its power at one ohm. Once again, you would need D four subs. Why? Because you could take the negatives to put them together. You could take the positives and put them together. You change this D four sub. Now you have changed this D four sub into a single two ohm load. You do the same thing with the opposite. With, when you take with the other with the other D four sub, you got two ohm load. You take those two positive and those two negatives and put them together. Now you got a one ohm load. You if your amplifier puts out its most power at one ohm, then that's what you want. D two, D four, D one is all wiring options. They give you various wiring options to present a certain load to where your amplifier puts out the most power. Or the ohm load that you want. Some people do not want 
uh, to get the most power, they're also trying to get the sound quality. Some people might want to wire down to a 2-ohm load. But if you want to wire down to a 2-ohm load, you get your dual 2. You wire up in series, positive to negative, positive to negative on the sub itself, connect these two. Take these two, send to the amplifier. Well, send, take these two and connect to the other two of the other D2 sub you have. Take the positive and put the positive, negative, put the negative after you have done this and send that to the amplifier. Now you got a two on load. Series is up. Remember this. When you wire sub in series the first time, you're taking the impedance up. So if you wire a D4 sub in series, you're going up to 8 ohms. If you wire a D2 sub in series, you're going up to 4 ohms. If you wire a D1 sub in series, you're going up to 2 ohms. Once you go up, most times you're trying to come back down. So you're going to wire up in series to get you a higher ohm load. Then you're going to connect it to another subwoofer in parallel. So you can bring it back down. And just have the resistance. Two 8 ohm subs wired in parallel get you a 4 ohm load. Two 4 ohm subs, dual 4 ohm subs, wired in parallel will take you down positive, 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 make sure positive, 2D4, positive, positive. It will take you down to a 1 ohm load. Because, yeah, yeah, you're going to half and that, going to take it to 2 parallel. And then you're going to have that again and going to take it to one. <laughs> two D2 subs wired in parallel going to take it to a half ohm load. Series is up, parallel is bringing down. Series wires the ohm level up, parallel bringing the sub level down. Let's look at a single subwoofer. Let's say this is a D4 subwoofer. D4, we wired in series. If it's D4 wired in series, now I have eight ohms. If it's D2 wired in series, we now have a 4 ohm load, a single 4 ohm load. If it's D1 wired in series, we now have a single 2 ohm load. We wired a single D4 sub in parallel. We put all the positive, the negatives together, we put all the positives together. We went, we halving the load, halving, halving. You went from D4, now you got a TD2. If this is a D2 sub, you went from 2 ohms to 1 ohm. If it's a D1 sub, you went from one ohm to half ohm. Does one hit harder than the other? It all depends on your amplifier. Because the ohm load that you present to the amplifier is going to dictate how much power it gives out, how much control it has over that power, and your signal to noise ratio. It's just that simple. Remember, cardio. It's two things at play. Basic electricity. 12 volts DC converting it to, to, to to whatever AC voltage you want, power. So what for the enclosure? Physics. Cardio. Basic electricity. And physics. Ah, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. We're going to uh, put this fierce in the enclosure. And like I said, I'm thinking I might raffle it off. I don't know. I don't know. Get your enclosure from MBE for free. Well, not really for free. You pay, I don't know, $2 an entry, two fifty dollars entry, $5, $5 entry. You'll be shipped to me. It's going to be in the optimal enclosure, the best enclosure that you can uh, put them in. I don't know. I mean, well, I, I do know. I mean, it's kind of crazy, but I don't have to decide exactly what I'm going to do with this single fears. Maybe I'll buy another one. Maybe I'll buy another one and, and, and give you uh, the optimal enclosure for two, which is 1.8 or two cubes. With a significant amount of port area. Because to me, port area is going to give you more output. <laughs> and I know these can fill it. When I say fill it, the force eights, 16 squares of port area. The fierce, 14 per cube. Peace. Look at this. Why I walk over here and hit the butt. Base on, fellas.